Ideology is a big tent. Uh, there are religious ideologies, there are political ideologies, there are economic ideologies, and if you look at the two controversial issues that I'm most familiar with, which is evolution and climate change, uh, clearly religious ideology is the motivator for anti-evolutionism. Straight up, no question. But climate change is much more complicated than that. The major motivators for people objecting to their kids being taught climate change in school are political ideologies and economic ideologies. The, ideolo the idea that if you teach climate change, then uh, cl climate change is, is really a liberal hoax that is uh, a socialist plot to do away with capitalism, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and down this downhill from there. There's a tiny little <laughs> slice of the anti-climate uh, change movement that is based in conservative Christian theology. Uh, it's a providential theology, the idea that, that God would never do anything bad to the planet because he created it for us and so forth. But when, when you weigh that, that slice of, of the anti-climate change people against the, um, the much, much larger uh, proportion of anti-climate change uh, uh, individuals who come from a political or economic ideology, uh, it, it really makes the the religious ideology very small. So, you know, when I, I deal with this a lot because people assume that the anti evolutionists and the anti climate change people are the same folks. And there's an overlap, but by and large, the anti climate change people are uh, stressing a political and economic ideology, the anti evolution people stressing a religious ideology.